So the next point is insects such as your grasshoppers and cockroach have a hard body covering that is made up of a substance called chitin. So if we have a closer view of the insects like your grasshopper and the cockroach, they have a hard body covering that is made up of a substance called chitin. The next is a newborn baby has 300 bones. So normally a human body has 206 bones. But you see that a newborn baby has 300 bones and as the baby grows older some bones join together. The skeleton of an adult has 206 bones. So the next fact is a newborn baby has 300 bones and as the baby grows older some of the bones join together and we find that the skeleton of an adult has 206 bones. The next point is in our body our hands and legs have the maximum number of bones. So when we compare the entire body we find that our hands and legs as the maximum number of bones that is 54 and 52 respectively. The bones in the palm, foot and toe are small in size. The bones in the legs and arms are long and the rib bones are round. A few bones in the head are flat. So this is about our skeletal system. We see that in our body the maximum number of bones are present in our hands and legs that is 54 and 52 respectively. The bones in the palm, foot and toe are small in size. The bones in our legs and arms are long and the rib bones are round. A few bones in the head are flat. So we see that insects such as your grasshopper and cockroach have a hard body covering made up of a substance called chitin. A newborn baby has 300 bones and as the baby grows older some bones join together and the skeleton of an adult has 206 bones. In our body, our hands and legs have the maximum number of bones that is 54 and 52 respectively. The bones in our palm, foot and toe are small in size. The bones in our legs and arms are long and the rib bones are round. A few bones in the head are flat. So these are some of the important facts that we have learned.